Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the third video on astronomical scales. If you missed out the previous two videos, you can watch those videos from the link flashing on the i button at the top right corner. In this video, we shall going to discuss about spectral classification of stars and the HR diagram. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. First, we start Henry Darper classification or HD classification of stars, which is based on temperature. As you see on the screen that the stars are classified into some categories based on temperature. The O category stars have temperature 40,000 Kelvin to 25,000 Kelvin. Color of these stars is blue or bluish white. The B category stars have temperature 25,000 Kelvin to 11,000 Kelvin. Color of these stars is also blue to bluish white. Here we should note that the lower the suffix is higher the temperature. That means 25,000 Kelvin temperature should belongs to B0 star. 11,000 Kelvin temperature should belongs to B9 star. And the temperature intermediate of these two should belongs to B1 to B8. Similarly, 40,000 Kelvin temperature should belongs to O5 star and 25,000 Kelvin temperature should belongs to O9 star. Here we should note that here started with O5 instead of O0 like other category star. What is the reason behind this? Because temperature higher than 40,000 Kelvin was not found but may exist. Hence, O category star starts from O5. That means there is a provision if temperature higher than 40,000 Kelvin a star is invented, then the O4, O3 and up to O0 category star should be introduced, can be introduced. Now, we focus on A category star. The A category stars have temperature 11,000 Kelvin to 7,500 Kelvin. Color of these stars is white. F category stars have temperature 7,600 Kelvin to 6,000 Kelvin. Color of these stars is white to yellow is white. The G category stars have temperature 6,000 Kelvin to 5,000 Kelvin. Color of these stars is yellow is white to yellow. Our sun fall into this category. Specifically, sun is G2 star. That means temperature of sun is nearly equal to 6000 Kelvin. The K category stars have temperature 5100 Kelvin to 3500 3, Kelvin. Color of these stars is yellow, orange or red. Higher temperature star should have color yellow. And the lower temperature stars should have color red and the middle temperature star have color orange. And the last but not the, le not the least, M category star have temperature 3600 Kelvin to 3000 Kelvin, color of these stars is red. Here also M category star ends with M5 instead of M9. What is the reason? The star with temperature lower than 3000 Kelvin was not found. But may exist. That's why M category star ends with M5. If in future uh, we found some stars temperature lower than 3000 Kelvin, then we can categorize them with M6, M7 up to M9. So there should be provision of that. Another three category stars RNS have temperature similar to GKM. But intensity of these category stars are different from GKM category stars. So these are categorized differently. After 1930, WDF Royal star named as W category star was invented, which is not in the part of HD classification. Among these stars where carbon dominated spectral lines found are named as WC and where nitrogen dominated spectral lines found are named as WN. Another classification is Morgan Kinnam classification or MK classification which is based on luminosity or brightness of the star. 
as you see on the screen that according to luminosity the stars are categorized into eight classes such as bright super giant star represented as 1a roman 1a super giant star represented as roman 1b b is the suffix bright giant star represented as roman 2 giant star represented as roman 3 sub giant star represented as roman 4 dwarf or main sequence stars most of the stars fall into this category and this is represented as roman 5 sub dwarf star represented as roman 6 and white dwarf star represented as roman 7 now how the star can be specified or represented here is some examples m54 means this is sub giant star 4 sub giant star and belongs to spectral class m5 similarly g2v by g25 means main sequence star 5 roman 5 represent main sequence star and the spectral class is g2 this is the representation of sun similarly f1 1a means this is a bright super giant star roman 1a represent bright super giant star and spectral class f1 by this way a star is specified the spectral type of stars or equivalently their colors were closely correlated with their intrinsic luminosity or equivalently their absolute magnitudes hartsper and russell independently plotted the absolute magnitudes versus spectral types of star whose distances were known at that time that means around 1913 this is known as the hartsper russell diagram or hr diagram shown in the screen in this plot it is found that almost 90% of the star lie along a narrow and long band which runs diagonally from the top left corner consisting of the hot o and b star to the lower right corner below which contains mostly the cool and faint red m stars this main band of stars is called the main sequence or dwarf sequence which extends from the absolute magnitude of about minus 7 or 8 to plus 15 the short branch which extends upward to the bright to the right of the main sequence in the classes f to m is the group of giant stars whose absolute magnitude ranges between minus 1 to plus 1 above the giants lies the group of bright giants whose absolute mag magnitude ranging up to minus 3 throughout the top of the diagram in the absolute magnitude range minus 3 to minus 8 there is a sphere distribution of highly luminous super giant and bright super giants stars between the giants and dwarf sequence a small group of stars of absolute magnitude plus 1 to plus 5 form the sub giant branch of the classes f to k at the lower left corner of the diagram well below the main sequence lies a group of very faint star of the classes from middle b to g with absolute magnitude ranging from plus 10 to plus 15 these are white dwarfs which have masses of the order of the solar mass but whose sizes approximate that of our earth this implies that extremely high density values are associated with such objects the density of these stars is approximately 10 to the power 6 times higher than solar density below the main sequence but above the white dwarfs lies a group of stars known as sub dwarfs there is a free region 
in the diagram between the giant branch and the main sequence that is almost free from stars free zone this is known as the earth spur graph gap so this is all about hr diagram hope you enjoy the spectral classification of stars if you have some suggestion or doubt then write in the comment section we can uh, we try to resolve your doubts as soon as possible thanks for watching this video